There's always something to do. It's like all great traumas, you just banish it from the memory. It does feel a bit like that. All great traumas. <laughs> Here we are, the final instalment. <laughs> I can't do I'm not I can't do these set pieces. So here we are, we're in our flat that we renovated with our own own hands. <laughs> We've been living here for six months now. It's done basically. It's done. June, July, August, September. Six months. Yeah. It was three and a half months to do the renovation. And then it's been six months since. Really? I think so, yeah. Wow. I think so. Six months of procrastinating on all of the things that we didn't get done in the three and a half months. Yeah, we still haven't done them. Yeah. But we live here now, <laughs> so it's a step in the right direction. It hasn't fallen apart. No. <laughs> this is the sitting room. Our ceiling, the red ceiling. Painted the ceiling. I love our red O3 ceiling. I think it just works. Yeah, I do it? too. And we're nearly done in here. We do need some curtains or some blinds. We want to get some shelves in the alcoves. Books. Some books. And we're also missing a telly. But otherwise, otherwise that was cool. Because we also need more storage, like books or like a um, like a bookshelf or what's yeah. it called? A cabinet. Yeah. A cabinet. A wall unit. A wall unit. Yeah. Over there, maybe. You know, for all our vases that we will one day have. <laughs> that that miraculously is the is the only left pile of stuff from. Why are you showing that? So come okay. this way. This is the bedroom. We can play a game of find the cat. There's one cat. There's another one. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so eventually we'll get a wardrobe. I quite like a corner wardrobe or something. Do you miss the built-in wardrobe? No, do not miss the built-in wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who wants some storage all the time. If we had that, we'd have loads of storage. Yeah, but you wanted to keep the built-in wardrobe yeah, no, for a while. for storage. That monolith. My favourite piece of furniture. I got this off... Oh, I shouldn't have shown you in there, it's really messy. <laughs> but it's a desk. And it's where I do my work. This is our hallway. So we painted the banisters dark green. And then we weren't necessarily going to do the door. But I think actually Tash recommended that we do the door. And we did. Wow. And I think it looks really good. I really like our handles, actually. I found these on Etsy. Here is one of the gold light switches that Jason loves. <laughs> really pleased with those. <laughs> so this is the kitchen, which also we did. These are more of those knobs from Etsy. Really like them. We are going to possibly do one long shelf along here for Spices, like a long spice rack. This is cool, look, corner cupboard. Whee! It's good, isn't it? <laughs> we want to get a unit up here. Something to have our glasses and plates. Yeah, and then I think we'll also, this is the sort of breakfast table area. And then I think we'll also at some point put shelves there for things like larger pots. The tagine we have that we've never used. <laughs> So yeah, we just, need, like, we just need a bit more kind of colour in here, don't we? Yeah. So these are our tiles that we did. You know, as you can see, they're meant to be a bit rough and ready. Like, they're not even, but that's the tiles themselves aren't even, so that's not us. Some of it's us, like how uneven along the top it is, that is us. And then if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it. If you look really closely, you can see kind of the holes. Don't tell them that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where well, we didn't cut it very well. What are the bloody building safety inspectors round? <laughs> yeah, so there's some holes there. Okay, so this is bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. We, this is the thing we did, we made. Ta-da! We had little corner shelves made and put in, which I really like these here. We, you can get smaller sized toilets, so we've got a mini toilet because we've got a mini bathroom. But you don't notice it when you sit on it. Um, now we've been here for a while, are you? Now we've been, here, now we've been here for six months. Now I'm definitely happy with it. I'm definitely yeah. happy with it. I'm yeah. over the moon. Like, like, we do have things that we still want to do. And I still have a slight sense of its mission unfinished. But everything that we have done, we're really, really bloody pleased with. And we were talking last night about the state that the flat was in when we first bought it. It's quite a transformation. I mean, we've done, yeah. we've done everything. We've done so much. We did so much in yeah. three and a half months. 
that it's unrecognisable. I'm really proud of us. I'm really proud of us. I think it's really cool what we've done. Yeah, no, it is. What area has transformed the most? I mean, I, 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 all of it. I honestly think every room. Yeah, because we, got, we gutted every room. Yeah. We, this is, because, you know, if we think about what it was like before, it was so filthy. The decor was awful. And so everything got completely wiped. Everything got replastered. There's nothing in here that's, you know, that is, that it hasn't been touched. Yeah, and I think what's quite a good, quite a good indicator of maybe how pleased we are or how how satisfying it is, is the, the day we got the keys, we came in the first time, we, we walked around and we went back to Enfield and we were both basically where we were crying. Living. Where yeah. we were living, yeah. <laughs> we, kind of, we came in and we realised sort of the magnitude of what it was that we had to do. We ripped up one carpet and then got like bitten by dust mites and then went home and cried. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're not crying. Yeah, we don't cry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Those early days were really tough. It felt like a mountain. It felt like an absolute, it wasn't, it felt like, where do we start? How do you start chipping away at so much work? And then we got to a point where, when we were doing things like sanding, there was, there was a period where we were sanding, we were stripping stuff, and they were the types of jobs where you got no immediate satisfaction out of it, no gratification. So you'd finish a day and you'd look around and it wasn't obvious that you'd done anything, <laughs> but you'd spent eight hours on your hands and knees oh, grueling. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was... You just remind me of sanding these window frames. Yeah. And that took like two days and now I never really look at the window frames. Yeah, yeah. You know. Another really difficult thing was me and him carrying fridges up and down the stairs and yeah. and trying to carry washing machines to the dump and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty hard. Yeah, our 14 <laughs> trips to the dump. I did enjoy those though. That was very satisfying. I do miss the dump. Yeah, launching things into a skip. Maybe we should go to the dump soon. <laughs> <laughs> Just go and have a coffee. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> So our original budget was £10,000 to do the renovation. The whole thing, yeah. The whole thing, which was really, which was which is tight, which is really tight. And it was so tight we didn't manage it. We ended up doing it in 14 grand. You know, and that's another piece of advice. You always have to allow for more than what you think. I think there's just the like, yeah, there's just, there's just hundreds of unknowns, aren't there? That kind of pop up along the way and um, little bits that you just you don't plan for but it was all right because also you know you forget that it took three and a half months so you get paid every month and so we could we could keep on you know adding to the budget a bit as you go i think you, yeah, you definitely end up striking a balance between things you can do yourself there's there's things that you can get people to come in and do and there's just like i think the basics like you want to get you want to get the foundations of it right so we did go over budget by a third <laughs> <laughs> quite a lot yeah <laughs> 10 grand to 14 grand yeah yeah so when yeah. you actually look at it but, but i think we were over ambitious possibly probably probably over ambitious it's probably a, we probably we probably went over due to our naivety as opposed to anything major would we do it again uh <laughs> <coughs> yeah 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 maybe no we would <laughs> I mean, I don't know it depends how we're looking at the question. As in, like, right now, would we do it again now? No, obviously, yeah. like, we need to go on a holiday. But if, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't go back in time and not do it. No, it was, it's really satisfying. I'm really pleased we did it, genuinely. But I wouldn't do it again in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody stressful. Yeah, it's it hard, hard work. One of the most challenging things was between us doing it together. I mean, we, we I think we made a great team, but also, how to make so many decisions together oh, yeah. is hard. <laughs> it's like it's like a hundred decisions that you have to come to an agreement on every day. Can <laughs> I ask you a question? Care about. How often do you think about your gold light switches that you made me drive across London <laughs> to get for you? Not that much. Because I would have just had not white standard plastic yeah, not that much. light switches and Jason insisted on having these snazzy things. How much do you think about the radiators that you agonised over for a month and, Every made us, day. and made us return, get new ones return? Every day. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. So it's been an amazing journey, quite long and arduous at times, I'd say. Yeah. But all in all, 
I very, very satisfying. It's really satisfying, yeah. I think actually quite often we sit there and go, wow, yeah. this is our home. Yeah, yeah. We actually did this. We did it. <laughs> Against all the odds. Yeah. We did it. And that feels really good. It does feel really good. Yeah. Really happy. And we really like it. We do really like it. You know, I never come in and go, oh, yuck. <laughs> That's a good sign.